A main type, sure. Yeah. Devontae, no type. you and Shamika would be perfect for each other because you're a confusitarian too. <laughs> <laughs> Straight confusitarian. All right, Ma, where you got? You must got some more balls somewhere. Shamika, they're they're she in the bucket. The but where? This bucket is running out of space. Shamika, just put them in that orange bucket over there. What orange bucket? Oh, just put them in there. Right, you you sure you don't want to change your clothes? No, I, everything is covered. Look, covered. I'm a little AC. You got multiple plans? Are you hitting play? I am. This is the Christmas vlog. The kids are. What are y'all doing? Living my best life. Playing with my chairs. And what is mom doing? Editing a vlog. Watching a movie. Movie marathon. Thumbs up for movie marathon. Ooh, the face. Thumbs up. Oh, Jackson has his thumb. Mom has a thumb. Grandma Susie, thumb up for movie marathon. There you go. Okay, so I'm getting ready to work on these blueberry muffins, low carb blueberry muffins. Now, I have not made the peace, love, and low carb ones before. I've always done the um, fat for weight loss. I've always used his muffin recipe, and then I have, um, you know, subbed in for chocolate chips. But I think I'm going to make this one. There's another one that I like. Oh, this is the one I like. So I'm going to do these blueberry muffins. I changed my mind. I, um, do like Kendra Holly, but I like his um, fat for weight loss. I like his muff muffins really well, and we make these quite often. So I am going to go ahead and do these uh, keto blueberry muffins, and that is from Fat for Weight Loss. See, this is why I had to use these um, sheet protectors. Can you see those stains? Those are just from cooking stains before I actually had the protectors and so he this is what his chocolate chip muffins look like but I'm just going to make them um with blueberries so I'm going to do that and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move everything out of this drawer which is right here where my baking cabinet is and my kitchen aid and put all of my measuring stuff here and then I'm just going to move this stuff over to this cabinet over here. I'm at that drawer right there. Just so all the baking things can be, you know, here, down, down, baking, baking. And then of course we just change that cabinet out to baking, bakeware. So I'm gonna change that, but I'm getting ready to put together these blueberry muffins and the kids and I are just gonna keep on keeping on with our day, so. You know, we'll see in just a little bit. So here in the crock pot, I do have on, we have on the Mississippi roast. This is actually gonna be for tomorrow, but we already put it on in the crock pot. And then we have finished up the um, muffins. We did strawberry, blueberry muffins. We just did them together in one pot, because uh, one bowl, because we had just already mixed it up together. I actually did the batches together, batches of mix, so it didn't make any sense to try to Separate out half and put half strawberry and half blueberry. This is just going to be what it is. And then the kids and I are having for lunch the leftover soup that we made yesterday. That is nice and finished.
So few. Yeah, because you so have to make when you make stuff on the silk fat oh. mat. What about the. Um, Don't forget these cards. Yeah. These cards. Yeah. These cards. Yeah. Yeah. These cards. Yeah. 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 Take the scraper first and scrape around. But then you need a People of leisure. Oh, Jackson. Jackson. Dogs have to go out, bud. Good morning. Say good morning, ma'am. It's 8.30. It is. Look at these people of leisure this morning. They have slept in till 8.30. It's after 8.30. But the dogs need to go out. Good morning, Alon. <laughs> really? Let's go. I gotta return something to Walmart. Say good morning. Good morning, silly. Oh, there's another dog. Good morning. What are you doing? Come on. Let's go. We got stuff to do this morning. You left them in my room. Good morning. Good morning, Tilly. Where's ma'am? Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, good morning. Camera shy. Not trying to be on the camera this morning. Get your little bone off the floor. Okay, so this is 
this is the last of the Christmas gifts that we have. Um, some of these we just need to find homes for. These are for my sister and my best friend. We have not done gift exchange yet. My sister's been sick. So we have not been able to exchange with her yet. This, however, is a gift. It wasn't a gift from anybody. I actually bought it for myself. Well, that's not true. Shamika sent me some money. And I bought myself. She did, Shamika is not a gift buying person. But she will give you money. <laughs> so she gave, sent some money for gifts. And I got this one for myself. I got it on Black Friday. Um, and I'm actually going to put it here in my baking cabinet with the rest of my um, things that I love for baking. So this is the 20 piece set. Um, the kitchen gadget set from Pioneer Woman. I like Pioneer Woman's. I like all of her things. I like her country theme. Although my kitchen is not a country kitchen. Um, I love the farmhouse sink and all of that look. Because I grew up on a little farm. So I'm really a country girl at heart. Although I was not born in the South. But I am a country girl. I've been here a long, long, long time. So I'm going to just get this out and put this away in my kitchen. I do have to run to Walmart really quick because um, I need to take something back and I need to exchange something. Uh, Jackson got two of the same gifts. I bought one and somebody else bought the same thing. So I'm going to take that back. And then I bought a calendar that I need to exchange that I will share with you um, because it goes along with our book study for the year. Uh, for the beginning of the year. So I'll share that in just a little bit after I get back from Walmart. and get it okay you guys so we are back from Walmart and I'm gonna leave this stuff in my car because um, several of the teachers and I are going over to the family from our co-worker who passed away on Christmas night and um, we're just bringing paper products so we just picked up some plates I got a big thing of cups and then there's some napkins in that other bag with this so plates cups napkins and um, we're all meeting together at one of the uh at a at our friend's church and then we're all gonna carpool over to her house so we did receive the um the email from our principal this morning saying or stating uh arrangement okay okay all right live your life live your life live your life and um so the uh crisis team is going to be who calling I don't speak to you, but it's fine. Sorry, you guys. I had to take a phone call really fast, so I don't even remember what I was saying other than um, we have the arrangements now for the oh, for the funeral for my coworker. Um, they will be um, Wednesday night, the 4th. They're having um, a visitation in the town kind of where her family is from um i don't think that we're gonna go to visitation but then um saturday no no that's friday i'm sorry friday's visitation saturday the 5th is going to be the funeral and that is going to be at our school and so i will definitely for sure go to that um there are a few developments coming up and i'm going to be sharing some things with you guys um, some changes, some different things that are going to be happening uh, as we move forward into January. I'm going to be sharing those things. I don't want to share too prematurely. Um, I'm 90% sure things are going to be the way they're going to be, but I need to get a final one more thing needs to be in place before I can say for sure. But I do want to share with you all how 
the Lord has blessed us even when we didn't even know that he was doing it. And, and then I'll share with you how everything came about. And um, it's not financial. There's, it's not a financial thing. And not every blessing is financial. We're thankful for those. Um, I actually just got off the phone with the kid's dad and prayerfully a payment should come in at some point in January. Um, so that is a blessing. It's always good to, to receive because I'm so, so tight on my budget for January. I mean, I'm down to the penny, but we are doing a low spend January. So I will share with you those uh, videos will start coming out. We're also going to be doing the... Um, 14 week challenge with a bowl full of lemons. I do it every January so I can get around and start cleaning out spaces in my home. Um, my time is limited, so I'm really going to be filming either Mondays or Saturdays. Moving into 2019, uh, my filming schedule has to change because there are some things that God has really laid on my heart to do and I have got to schedule in time to do them. So with that being said, um, my schedule is going to change. I will be sharing that with you guys here in the next couple of videos. But anyway, we are, it's 11.25. See, I can't see without my glasses. 11.25. I'm finishing up lunch. I have to be out of here by 3 to go over and be with my uh, co-workers, meet them over by the church. And then I'm going to either hopefully ride with somebody or I can drive my own car. It's totally fine. I probably, I like to drive because when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Um, not sure if I'm going in minister mode today. I'm probably just going as coworker, but I will, I'm always in ministry mode if I need to be. Um, she knew the Lord. So that is not even a question. Her kids as well. So we're going to keep moving right along. And, um, yeah, we'll bring you along as the day goes along. Okay, you guys, so here is our crock pot that we have going for lunch. I thought I would share this with you because I made the pork carnitas, the meat that we got the other day, and I put it in a crock pot to make Mississippi roast. So most of my liquid kind of um, poured out, and we did have some of this yesterday, but we did not shred the meat. And we just had big chunks of meat for dinner. That was not really good. We didn't love that. So what I told Alana I would do today was I would put the meat back in the crock pot. We had a little bit of the uh, meatball stroganoff that I made the other night um, left. So I dumped that in as well. I put in a little bit of water and let that come up to temperature. Then what I did to make it easier on, on us to eat was I just took two forks. And now I'm just separating out the meat. Because I used two, there were two really, really, really large packs of pork carnitas. And so I just put another brown gravy packet, another ranch packet. Um, because it probably was enough meat to do three different Mississippi roasts. And I just put in enough for two. And now what I'm doing, I just added a little bit more water because I want it to be loose. So that there was like a gravy. Um, and now I'm just going to let this... Uh, cook while I see if there's any more veggies that we can have with this probably some cauliflower or maybe green beans We can do but we're gonna finish up cooking lunch, and then this is what it's gonna. This is gonna be really really good so um, This is gonna be nice For lunch, so we're gonna get our green beans on this is just on low and we're going to eat lunch so I think um with losing a co-worker, it's ri I'm just putting the I was using my coffee maker as a tripod. <laughs> um, with losing a co-worker, it's really important to really begin to think about family members, co-workers, all kinds of different people that are in your life. And um, Jennifer was 54 years old. We got the paper, the obituary today. They shared with us. Uh, of course, my principal sent everything out to us. 54 years old. And you wouldn't have known that. She was just an, oh, a sweet, sweet individual. Um, but you do wonder, hey, did I say all I needed to say, do all I needed to do? And so she died in a car wreck. And this morning, Alana and I were heading to Walmart, but we were going by the post office box to see if there was anything in there. And um, if you sent us something, we tried to either send you a thank you note or an email. 
and I, I did have a subscriber send me something and she did exactly what I asked. Thank you, Miss Nicole. Inside the envelope, she put her email address right there at the top. And um, so I was getting back to uh, responding to those types of things and was able to immediately go back to that envelope, find the email address and send off an email. Um, emails are a little bit cheaper these days because stamps of course cost 50 cent a stamp and I don't have 50 cent for the stamp so I could and I am I am Jiminy quick on those um, emails like really fast on emails and then um, someone sent Alana a, th a Christmas doll and so she did send out a thank you note and we hope that you did get that Miss Arlene so thank you so much um if you ask me not to give you a shout out, I won't. But if you don't ask me to, then I will just mention first names and leave it at that. But if you sent us something, thank you, thank you so, so very much. If I did not respond to you, it's because maybe there wasn't a return address or I didn't have an email. But some, some things I get with no return address. I don't even get a name. It just has my name on it. And usually those are my coupons and um, I'm very appreciative of those um, they are having a super doubles in January, so we are looking forward to being able to attend that. But anywho, moving back to what I was talking about, me and Alana going to Walmart this morning. We were on our way to Walmart, and we were going by the post office box. Not the normal way we would go to Walmart, but we had to go to the post office, so we had to go out of our way. And we're driving, and directly in front of us, we see a truck coming. It's one of those uh, Chevy, Ford, Dodge, big truck thing, you know. And then on a side road coming out is a little small, tiny car. It's like a Prius or something like that. I think that's a small car. If I'm wrong, somebody tell me. Little small car. And that car did not meet their stop sign. It did not stop at the stop sign. So what happened was, and we're just driving like minding our own business on our way. And I felt really bad because Alana was in the vehicle with me. But that car came out of that side road and that truck that was coming slammed right into the driver's side airbag deployed i got past the i got they, they it was like the truck kind of pushed the car over to the side so i got past them pull over into this uh the um townhouse development and i'm calling i'm on the phone my sister i'm like i have to call you back i have to call you back so i'm calling 911 i turn around my car and come out to the edge of that um, subdivision where I had put my car so I could get out of the way and then I'm on the phone with 911 telling them hey there's been a wreck this is the place and we're in the country it's not like we are at 305 Southeast Boulevard there is no number you're just like okay I'm on this road and it crosses over this road right here and you know we're at the end past the thing so who country living child tell you but anywho, I said, and they're like, well, is, did the car flip over? No, ma'am. Did Is the driver, is anybody out? I said, well, I see somebody out. I think they're on their phone calling you and I'm calling you. And, you know, finally you realize, okay, the driver of the truck is okay, but I can't see the driver of the car because they got a direct hit on their side. The airbag is out. That's all I could see when I was coming past. And so, and Alana is visibly shaking and she's got, you know, water in her eyes like, oh my God, oh my God. You know, just if we'd have been any closer to that, we would not have been able to get out of the way because the way the truck hit the car, it came into my driver's lane. But fortunately, we had not gotten up on it enough that we were able, I was able to put on brakes and slow my car down as I watched that car go straight across the line like this into the, um, it was like, it's like another little side street thing, but, um, I'm explaining it horribly, but anyway, I'm saying all that to say, we don't ever know when is our last, we don't ever know when, you never know, you're going out to your post office and, never come home the i was talking to another friend this morning and and my uh co-worker was dropping off christmas presents at her sister's house and normally she would call um uh, her kids and let them know hey i got home they didn't get a phone call so they started trying to contact her and one of the sons had uh, her phone gps where she on his phone where he could you know find my phone i guess i don't know and um it pinged at the hospital 
and that she's supposed to be on her way home. So when they called the hospital, of course the hospital couldn't give them any information over the phone, but her brother is a state trooper, so he was able to get the information and they relay back to the family. I mean, can you imagine, hey, I'm dropping off these presents. Anywho, hug your loved ones, tell the people you love you love them. Forgive any indiscretions that might have been done towards you. We just don't know how much time we have. We just don't know when our number is up. But I'll tell you, I believe she danced her way into heaven. It, we could sit together and talk about the Lord. We didn't even have to talk about anything. We just knew, you know, you just knew everything was back was about the Lord. And, and I appreciated that with her because that is how it is with me. I pray most, I pray that is, but, um, she just, it's its very sad to lose your friends, your loved ones, your co-workers. Um, be with our students. We did find out that they are going to have the crisis intervention team on the grounds Thursday and Friday, which is when we go back to school. So we don't even know if her students know. We know the co-workers know. Not all of the co-workers knew. Um, maybe they were out of town or whatever when the principal was doing phone calls. But we do know that... Uh, they're going to have that team there for the students on Thursday and Friday. So we're very thankful that um, that they will do that for us. So anywho, the kids and I are going to finish up getting our, um, probably going to do green beans because we have green beans. So we'll do our green beans and then we're going to have lunch. I have a video to film. It's my one little word for 2019. And then again, like I said, I do need to get ready for going over to um, meet with the co-workers who are going to take those things over to Jennifer's house. So anyway, join us as we get a few little things done around here. The house is pretty clean. I do need to make my bed, but other than that, we're squared away. So we are going to get with the program and um, we'll get back with you guys soon. <music> because we have a low spin January coming up. We've got to because we're going to be on a tight, tight, tight budget. On the best month of the year. Bye-bye. I love hard. you and I mean that with every fiber of my being. But we are going to be on a tight month until I get paid at the end. Well, that's all I need at the end. My birthday is at the end. So did we figure out what we want to do? No. Mm. I have to figure out at least by January the first to send out invitations. Do you want to go out? Do you want to go to Red Robin? Red Robin. It's like no. a hamburger place, and take your friends, take three or four friends. Three or four. How many do you have? On my list right now, and I think we're done. I've got about what's four times two? Eight, Eight friends. Yeah. Oh no way. I have mom. I originally came up with this, which for one of those invitations, she kind of lives out of town, but I'm still hoping she could come over. Who is it? Bailey. Oh God. So I have Rosa because I was. What Rosa, about Ava, what about if Sarah. we do? What about if we just did a movie night? You pick out all the fun movies you want. We do pizza. People come over. It's a couple movies. Or we could do we could do um, pizza and like an ice cream bar, like all the toppings you want. Jackson could be your man servant. I don't know. I didn't really want Jackson here at this party. He could, where are he going? He I got his live here. Uh, okay, he can't be at the next birthday. Maybe Trandon will take you. You want to tell Trandon is something you want to see at the movie? Sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that will be out of the movie. It will, Ooh. but the probably have. I don't want to see two movies. Can I have some butter? Butter. I don't know. Stop drinking. Butter. Um, well, um, I don't know if I wanted to do a movie. That's it. Okay. What do you think? Well, what, what are your thoughts? What do you think? When's the next time I'm going to the movie theater? When's training coming? I don't know. 
probably should ask him. I he really wanted to go roller skating, but the weekend okay. before my birthday, we're going to Jelly Beans for the ceremony, so I didn't want to do that. Which, I'm really glad we finally get to go back again. It's been, like, forever since we've been roller skating. And okay, so... I don't want to go to any more jumping mm. places. We already went. I wanted to go to the beach, but then I decided not it's, to. It's just too cold right now. Well, no, they really probably got the windows in by now. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the windows are in. I don't... Uh, and then I couldn't think of anything else. I don't want to go to Jungle Rapids. We can look at the dates, but if we do the windows... There's just no more fun stuff anymore. It's, it's January. I don't know. I think the movie thing is all we have left. Well, or like a girl party. That's what I'm saying. Like do you want to have polishes and things? That's what I'm saying. Do you want to have a girls' day? We could have nail polishes, makeup. Have... You, pl mom, we did it when we went over to Madison's house, but she had to do it blindfolded. Oh Lord. It was funny. I didn't do it, of course, but they did, and it was funny. Madison, just be... oh, her. yeah, we're out of town. It was just for fun, mom. You can wipe it off. Mm -hmm. It was just for fun. You can wipe it off. Well, who's going to appreciate that? Do your friends like that type of thing? No, but I thought no, Rosa is not going to make it And then their parents may not allow it. Right, Jackson's Shh, quiet. I mean, we can still look at and see if they have the beach, if they have the um, good rates. No, I'm going to go to the beach. Okay. I think we're just going with the movie ice cream. Where are you going to watch the movie? I think he doesn't look really good. But you can do it mom's. Or we can just try to bring the TV out here. And set it up maybe on this one. Right here. What about that? What if we do this? Okay, you guys. So it is um, 6.30. And I think that the kids and I are going to end the vlog here. I do need to... Uh, add this part in and finish that video so that I can get it saved, rendered, and uploaded for today. Um, we, I'm just getting back from going over to visit with my coworker's family. Um, it's just, it's hard. You know, it is just very difficult. But it was good to see some of the staff members get together and come together as a team and really support her family. Um, but it is difficult to watch her children. Um, she has four adult children. She has two girls that are still in college. One is applying to medical school and one is in nursing school. And then her older boys, you know, they already have graduated. So that is just a little bit um, of a challenge as a, as a parent. So anywho, the kids and I are going to eat supper because I'm starving. I'm starving. And we're going to try to do a little bit of uh, shuff moving some things around. Acro's not feeling well. He actually did not even go to his bowl tonight, which is not typical of Acro because Acro likes to eat. So I'm going to get the dogs quieted. I'm going to get the kids fed, get myself squared away. I have one more video that I have to, f that I have to film because I need that video to go up tomorrow. So preferably we will get all of the things that we need done done and we just thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel big things coming in uh 2019 uh, some changes for some of us around here and we just needed you guys to know that so uh we're excited 2019 is going to be a good year but we will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog bye now